Welcome back to Vintage Diecast Restoration. It's Saturday, that means it's time for a mail call. Mac, what's the time to do? Cars! Cars, what are we gonna do? Should we open cars? Uh -huh. Open cars, all right. Up first, we got a package from Andre Dontigny. This is from Canada. I look for different uh, models. This is a flat one. What's in what's in the flat boxes? Do you remember, Mac? Mm -hmm. These are boxes, right? Oh, oh, be very careful. Very careful. What we got this is an original number 63 matchbox uh, crane truck, a Dodge crane truck. Um, this is one that we're going to do on the channel. Um, at least a, um, a restoration preservation on the model. Um, this box actually looks darn near perfect. I don't think I'm gonna have to do much, if anything, on this. So that's pretty exciting. I love the flat packages because that means boxes. Up next, a yeah. little square box. Dwayne Keys. Is that Mac? Yeah. Get that little tape here. What do you think's inside? A car. Yeah. What kind of car? is a Jaguar MK10. That's a series one number uh, number it's 28. Trailer. It has a trailer hitch, yep. The trailer hitch is intact. And it has the original hood on it. So that one's actually in pretty decent shape. It's play worn, it's got some scratches, but overall, not too bad. No, um, and I don't think I have one of these yet, so. Nice addition to the collection. Open this one. Open this one. Who's this from? This is from Pete Mac, Oldberry Antiques. A train car. All right. It's a fire truck. Fire truck. Do you like fire trucks? Uh huh. Uh huh. I like that fire truck. So this is actually something that I haven't talked a lot about on the channel, um, and that is the uh, the king size, the Matchbox king size. That's um, a fire truck. Does that look cool? Uh, it's a water. I have started recently. Um, kind of getting into some of these king size models. Um, I've got a fair amount now, five or six of them anyway. Um, none in the original box. All of them seem to have issues like missing tires and whatnot, but this one seemed like it was in really great shape. I mean, the, the paint on this looks absolutely beautiful. All of the original decals are in place. Um, all my plastics are good, complete. There's a few little spots, as you can see right here on the roof um, and in the back here where there's some scratches, but I think that's pretty normal considering how these would have been played with. You know, every time one of these would have been clamped down, it would have kind of eaten at that paint. So um, this one I think is pretty easy as far as a fix up on it goes. We just need to get some more tires for it um, and it'll be ready to go. I do want to shoot I, I will shoot a follow-up video at some point in the future uh, that goes through kind of all of the different king size models that I have, um, and we're going to do a couple quick fixes on a, on a few of them that have uh, have some issues that are easily uh, remedied. So th this is uh, this is one I don't have yet, um, and really impressed with it. The condition is even better than I thought it was going to be. So. Excited to have that one. 
And last but not least, Paul Michelotis. I think I've bought from, I think I've purchased from Paul before. When I find a really good seller, somebody that's got these cars, um, I like to follow them, kind of see what else they come up with. Um, you know, sometimes it pans out, sometimes it doesn't. It's really well wrapped. is in there. A number 70 matchbox. That is a Thames Estate car. So I have one of these um, already in my collection. And when I shoot the video on this, um, I will show you the other mint copy that I have. Uh, I was privileged enough to actually be able to purchase it from a gentleman that um, worked for Matchbox Lesney in America um, as one of their kind of distributors. Um, and this, the mint copy that I have came from his personal collection. Um, it's absolutely my favorite piece of any of the cars that I have because of the story, the history with it. Um, I got a really nice note from him when I, when I uh, made arrangements um, to acquire it. And um, he kind of gave me the, the provenance, the back, back story of it. Um, and it's one of my favorite pieces, so I would never touch it. But I've wanted to do a restoration on one of these. Um, and so I was looking for one that was not in as good a shape as the one that I have that uh, might be a good candidate for restoration. And uh, the one that I have has silver plastic wheels. And so this is a little bit different variant. It has the gray plastic wheels on it. Um, so look for this one in a future restoration. Um, that'll be one coming up. What do you think, Mac? These good cars? Uh -huh. Yeah. You excited? Uh -huh. All right. Can you say bye? Bye. Bye. We'll see you next week. <laughs>